Yo, what is up guys? So today we're actually gonna be going over how to make the camera look, you know, just as good as it probably looks now. Um, and, you know, it took me a bit to actually get the camera quality down, but uh, it looks good on streams and it's gonna look good on recorded videos. There's actually another way I'm gonna have to show you to do it on recorded videos because sometimes after a recorded video is recorded with the C920 camera, it comes out looking all washed up. So you're actually gonna have to edit that within an editor. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right now. All right, so this is what I have going on right now. You actually gotta get into the webcam and you gotta use configure video. And after you go to configure video, you wanna use these these settings to adjust your camera you you don't necessarily have to have backlight composition on um, I just have it on because it looks good with what I'm doing right now I'll come in here and I'll let's click default real quick okay you see how dark it just got so what I'll actually do is I'll probably uh, I'll leave this normally I leave this off I'll probably raise the gain a little bit I normally mess with gain white balance sharpness saturation and the contrast so I might pull the gain up maybe a little bit. Um, and I just keep messing with it until, oh God. <laughs> I keep messing with it until, you know, it looks good enough for me, you know, and it's it, it's gonna look different for all you guys because of your lighting. And see, I went and I invested in a ring light, a newer ring light. Uh, so the better your lighting in the room, the better you're gonna be able to adjust this camera. So let's say I pull this up to here and then I pull the sharpness down well no I always put the sharpness on 180 I don't know why I just ha it has to be on 180 well it, it looks good what do you mean I don't know I know why <laughs> anyway uh, I pull the contrast up a little bit to add shadows because as you can see it looks faded here it'll look faded by default kind of but whenever I pull the contrast up it adds a little bit of shadow to it to kind of give it you know kind of darken it up a bit you know that that faded look kind of takes it a little bit of that away and darkens it up a little bit and you don't want to go overboard because you'll end up looking like this so what you want to do is just kind of kind of slowly bring it up you know until there's not too much shadow but there's just enough to cover up you know that faded look to the video um, and then your saturation I normally I normally pull that up I just look at my skin color honestly I'm like okay I'm not like I'm not like this dark <laughs> I'm not like red so I just kind of kind of move it to like it's a little light because I'm not like super dark but I, I, I'm a little lighter I guess I feel like right there is perfect actually gain I can pull that down it'll be too dark or I can pull it up but as you can see it does not completely destroy it as if you were using brightness for instance I'm gonna remember 28 right Brightness for some reason just makes everything look like don't touch brightness at all leave brightness on 28 Okay, if you're wondering why your game is not working right here. It's because you probably have uh, One of those apps open for Logitech uh, And what I had to do honestly is I restart my computer and then I unpinned it from down here and You know, so I won't accidentally click on it and I just use like the, the settings through OBS and then I record with OBS as well because if you click any other app it is literally going to change your settings and you won't be able to use the game. So just, just, et, just do all this. Okay. Edit it and just record everything through OBS. Trust me, it's going to look a lot better. So as you can see up there, it looks pretty dope. You know what I mean, I, if I want to play a video game, boom, there it is. Look. Okay. So. Now I'm gonna go back, let's see, and show you guys exactly what I wanna do with the editor. All right, so here's a video of me from a really long time ago. And uh, I'm just gonna edit it a bit and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So whenever you're done recording a video, it might look a little too bright. So we're gonna take brightness and contrast, uh, put it in here, uh, and then you can go ahead and pull the contrast up just a little bit to add a little bit of shadow. You know what I mean? Kind of get a little bit of that faded look off of it. You can see now that instead of that faded red, my shirt is now more of a red, like it's supposed to be, more of a burgundy color. Uh, the brightness, you can leave that where it was, honestly, just don't even touch it. <laughs> 
then you're gonna go back in here and you're gonna go to you're gonna look for the color corrector. You're gonna take the color corrector, put it over it. Now this is after you're using Sony Vegas. You're you're gonna have to go into any other editor that you have and edit it yourself. And so I'm gonna here's the game. You can mess around with the game here, you know, to get it to look how you wanted it to look. And then I might wanna take the saturation down just a tiny bit, about right there. Okay, and then pull the game up just a little bit, maybe right there. Give the room a little, a little more brightness, make sure it looks pretty good. Uh, you don't really have to touch the gamma. See what, uh, I, I'll leave that about right there. And now let's see how it looks. It looks freaking fantastic. Um, I mean, I, I guess I can make it look a little better. That looks, that looks decent. But yeah, so that's pretty much it on how to make your camera look, you know, pretty decent. And this one, you know what I mean, probably is going to look good because I haven't edited it yet, obviously. But it looks good in OBS, but by the time I'm done recording this, it's going to look like trash. <laughs> Either way, I love you guys. I know I said it like 15 times. I just, I'm just making sure you know, okay? Don't touch that brightness, all right? It's all about that game uh -huh. <laughs> and that white palette. And that contrast, if it's faded, maybe a little bit of saturation, you know, you give it a little vivid color. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, I'm sorry for this horrible tutorial. <laughs> Thank you for all your love and support. This camera, by the way, if I if I didn't mention it, is the C920. Um, and I'll see you guys later.